Let's continue. Last time we left off, we talked about the Messier catalog, and then we looked through the Messier catalog. We noticed that what kind of objects the Messier catalog had. It had things that were galaxies. Some of the objects there were star clusters, and some of them were gases. And then we noticed that these were some of the bright ones in there, M7, M31, M42, M44, M45. These were some of the most brightest looking Messier objects because when you look at them, if you know where you're looking, you can actually see them without having to use a telescope, okay? And the brightest one, the brightest appearing one is the Pleiades open cluster, okay? Uh, I wanted to show you this picture before we go on. This, I like this one. It's basically, they took all of the Messier object pictures and then they made a whole collage out of them. So this is Messier object number one, Messier object number two, three, four, five, and then so on. <coughs> so it's gonna have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, right? And then how many rows does it have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Ten by eleven makes what? One ten. How many Messi objects are there? Huh? One hundred three. three. But they added seven more to it. One hundred and ten, right? Yeah. The first one is the Crab Nebula. Okay. Uh, M42 is the Orion Nebula. So if you go um, uh, four, 40, 41, 42, this is the Orion Nebula. Then you can keep going. This looks like a planetary nebula, you see? Inside of it, in the center is the white dwarf. So there's different kinds of nebula, and then there's things that are called clusters. The, what, the thing that we're going to study next are the clusters. The clusters are these guys. Clusters of galaxies, uh, sorry, clusters of stars that we're going to study that. And then when you take st clusters of stars and you fit them inside of a galaxy, the galaxy is even a bigger entity, okay? A star cluster simply is just a grouping of stars. That's basically it, okay? That are close to each other. They are gravitationally bound to each other and they pretty much stay together for most of their lives. Association is one kind of star cluster. They are a group of widely scattered stars, 10 to 100, loosely bound to each other. Well, loosely bound means they don't necessarily have to stay together the rest of their lives. Uh, they separate from each other eventually, okay? If you think about it, our sun is part of an association, okay? Uh, in the neighborhood of our sun, Remember that list that we looked at before, the one that says near stars chart? There's roughly maybe 50 stars or so. That's kind of like our sun. That has a, it has a neighborhood of about 50 stars, maybe up to a maximum of 100. So our sun is part of an association, actually, okay? Now, a bigger one than that is called the open cluster. The other name for it is called galactic cluster. So you can either call it open or galactic. It's a cluster of more stars, maybe 100 up to 1,000, okay? So there are more stars in this cluster, young blue stars with an open, transparent appearance, and it's not very tightly grouped together. So what do we mean by that? Okay, let's do this to show you I uh, ideas of it. L let's do this. Uh, let's. Uh, give some examples here, and then we'll actually go online and see examples of them. So basically what we mean by open is that it looks like this. Let's say you had a bunch of stars. You see, so let's say that you had a star cluster that looked like that. You see the space in between the stars is open. That means there's space that you can see through it. So that means it's not very tightly bound. There aren't too many densely packed stars, okay? Uh, association would also be open because there's only uh, up to 100 stars. It would also look open. So both of them are kind of open. Um, and they are not very tightly grouped. They were formed later in the history of the universe when stars were farther apart. So one of the things we learned about the universe is that the Big Bang happened 
and then the universe is growing. So clusters of stars that formed much later in the history of the universe, we would expect the distance between them to be wider apart, and so there would be more distance, and they would look more open. So open clusters formed later in the universe, and that's why since they formed later, they still have big blue bright stars. Because those guys die very short, right? They, they, they live very, long, uh, very short lives. So if the clusters had formed a long time ago, those blue stars would have died by now. So that's why open clusters have young blue stars because they were formed very late in the history of the universe. Okay, from the Messier catalog, if we want to know which ones of those are open, these would be some examples of them. M6, M7, M16, M23. Those are all open clusters. You see here, M6, and you go over, open. M7, you go over here, open. So whenever it says open cluster, those are examples of open clusters, okay? And it's in the constellation Scorpius, and that's why they drew the constellation Scorpius here. Uh, okay, so you see here, blue, bright stars, open appearance. And they are here showing uh, other examples of open clusters too. You see, these are all open. You see here, the spacing be between them is not very densely packed, so you can see them. And you see how it has big blue bright stars? So they were formed close to us in the history of the universe. They were formed later, so they're not formed very long ago as compared to us, you know. So they still have those bright blue big stars. I'll keep it on this form so we can keep going back to the picture. Globular cluster contains many, many more stars, 100,000 to 1 million stars in a sphere of 75 light years. It contains old red stars. That means the blue bright ones have all died, okay? Because remember, those are the first ones that die. They die very quick. So there's, this one has a lot, lot more stars, very, very densely packed, <clears throat> like this. Imagine having a lot more stars And now it no longer looks open. Okay. And if we ask the question, why are there that many stars packed together in a globular cluster? The answer is the globular clusters formed when the universe was smaller, when the universe just began. It, it was expanding, it was expanding, and then clusters of stars began gravitationally uh, being attracted to each other. And since the small universe was small, they were, there were so many stars tightly packed, okay? And it ended up that they were just all in that space. And since it formed very early in the history of the universe, every, every star in there that was big, bright blue has now died, okay? Those ones die. So the only thing that remains there are the old stars, the red stars, the cool stars. They live longer, okay? So globular clusters formed when the universe was still young and small. Therefore, stars were closer to each other then, you see? This explains why globular clusters are so compact, okay? From the Messier catalog, which ones are globular clusters? M2, M3, M4, M5. M9, M10, 12, 13, 14, 15, and so on and so on, okay? If we go back to the website, you see it even says here, see a, a sentence from the Wikipedia, a globular cluster is a spherical collection of stars that orbits a galactic core as a satellite. And then what we're gonna see next is when we talk about the Milky Way, we're gonna ask the question, where are the galactic, uh, the globular clusters in the Milky Way? And then you're gonna see that the 
they go around the center of the Milky Way, okay, like a satellite. Globular clusters are very tightly bound by gravity, which gives them, and then so on and so on, they, they explain it. Now, if you look at the images, you'll see very different appearance, you see. See, more redder looking stars, orange looking stars, a lot, lot more stars packed together. It's definitely not open, you can't see through it, okay? And then here it's showing you if you have the Milky Way, where would the globular clusters be found? They would be found around the Milky Way, going around the center of the Milky Way, you know? So this is globular, 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 and then again globular, globular. More, more and more examples. See? So they pretty much look the same. So it's, you can't see through it, therefore it's not called open, you know?